the way uh, we throw our net is pretty unique. Um, you want to pull it into two bundles. Sometimes you don't get two bundles, so you kind of just have to fan it out until you get two equal bundles with just a lead line on the front and a lead line on the back. Um, keep the net, all the extra net just goes right over your shoulder. You want to put it over the shoulder that you're going to throw from though, because if you try to throw that way, that whole net wraps around the back of your neck and messes it up. You want it to just fly off your shoulder. So keep it tight up on your shoulder, grab your two bundles about two foot up from the lead lines, and then on, flip your net forward and grab this back lead line with a free finger. So you've got your group that you're pinching in your thumb and pointer finger, and then you got that back lead line in these other fingers here. From there, you're just gonna pick it up, make sure you're not standing on your rope, and you're gonna pull back and lead with this hand a little bit extra, kind of let it pull everything, and just hold on to your back lead line, let it fan out and drop it. Takes very little time to set up and is pretty, pretty easy to do once you get some practice. I've got 20 years of practice. <laughs> so, so when you get to the bottom, if you hold your lead line, your, your line pull, uh, tight, you can feel the shrimp kicking up through that line when you really get on them. I didn't feel anything, but that was one of our better throws. Still real red leg. They're moving. Good shrimp though. Like if we could keep this size and get on about three or four times that a throw. And if you can get this guy to uh, pull his net out of the bucket here and start throwing too. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no sense in it until we get on them though. We start, we start putting some shrimp in the boat, it's going to be time for you to get to work. So I've got like a group of the net that's kind of tangled up in the tuck line. Sometimes you just got to stretch it out, get that out, otherwise the net's not going to open very well. how you tie off to that cleat so um my rope's a little bit short so i just keep the rope tied off to something so that i can clean up the boat or be driving the boat and i can just let my my line kind of lay you have to be careful doing this though because you will find your rope in the prop if you don't keep an eye on where it's at Try to keep the rope close to you, especially when you're fishing 30 plus feet of water. Um, you'll run out of rope real quick. All right guys, so I'll take just a quick second to uh, show you my cast net, throw in, set up, all this kind of stuff. Uh, now the net is a uh, eight foot super spreader. It's a taped cast net. It's about um, a pound of weight per foot. Uh, the mesh size on it, honestly, I don't remember. Should be five eighths. Five, yeah, sorry, five eighths. Yeah, because five eighths is what's legal, right? Yep. Uh, so yeah, Walt throws a 10, I throw an eight. Uh, that's the difference between 20 years experience and about five or six, to be honest. Uh, but I throw my net a little bit different. I take all 50 foot of the, uh, the rope here. I coil it up into one hand. It's gonna be a big handful, I'll tell you right now. So all this is here. I grab about one foot behind the horn here. Stand my net up. I, my next grab is a little bit uh, below the, uh, the waistline here. All this gets loaded into the right hand. Now, take a line from my thumb, I draw straight down, and that's where I start grabbing. And what I do here is I just split the net uh, in half, 50-50. Very similar to how he does his. He's putting half on one side, half on the other. I'm just going 50-50 in my hand like this. So once I got it separated, I now take these two fingers and grab this bit of a, of a net here, roll it over my wrist, take the, 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 the line that's the closest to this thumb again, I pinch it, Make sure everything is rolled over basically inside out. 
my next grab goes straight down and that's it so this net's now ready to throw now when i throw i'm just going to go right hand over left hand back and let's see how she comes out there we go not bad it's a big kind of heavy bulky net sometimes it's a, it's a little bit cumbersome to throw because of the taping and all that but uh, she'll get down there to the bottom now the best thing about these uh these deep water cast nets is they're taped so as this net is basically dropping that taping on the side is acting like a wing so it's keeping it spread out as it drops if you don't use a taped cast net and you just use a regular cast net in 40 feet of water like we are that thing's going to hit the water surface looking beautiful as can be but by the time it gets down to the bottom it's going to completely close up and your you know your 20 foot spread cast net is going to be about the size of that uh, that basket there might maybe three feet of opening or so uh, so that is not what we want we want the taping we want it to spread out and uh, once it gets down to the bottom you're just basically going to do a little bit of uh, how much line do i have left in, um, in my hand and uh, compare that to the water depth you're in and i can tell you guys right now the biggest thing that i made mistakes on when i first started throwing this cast net is i rushed it you have to slow down you have to take your time give this net time to get down to the bottom because it's floating very slow due to that taping due to that wing we're talking about so now i can look over we're in 40 feet of water i know when i spread my arms out about like this this is about six feet i got four feet down the bottom the net's not moving anymore so i know it's sit on the bottom now i'm just basically going to pull the slack out just a little bit give it a couple little bumps wait for that electricity like mr walt told me <laughs> and then uh, once it kind of gets bumped up off the bottom it's just going to kind of puff the mud it's going to tickle the shrimp and get them to jump up into that net a little bit more which is why sometimes you'll see them kind of hanging up on the uh, top of that horn and then once it's up that's it i don't try to recoil it all back into my hand as i'm bringing it up it's 50 feet of net it's heavy it's kind of cumbersome bringing it up so i just pull it in just like this i let all the uh the line kind of lay down on the uh on the deck of the boat reach down with my arm and swing it right on in now sometimes you hit the mother load sometimes you get 20 30 shrimp sometimes you get you know i've been listening to stories of walt and his daddy out here doing it for years talking about how you need help pulling this thing in you know uh, it just is what it is. Sometimes you mark them good, you hit them good, sometimes you don't. Uh, but this is just a, a repetitive process. We're not out here, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. You gotta throw this net sometimes for three hours to get out here and get your limits. So we're getting close. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. So let's keep throwing this thing. So the bottom is flat. You see these ridges because we're in some boat wake right now. But you see how you have this, it almost looks like there's growth down there on the bottom. And the closer it gets to that red, the denser the wad of shrimp or whatever it is down there. Generally, if it looks like that, it's shrimp. So we drifted over that wad and then we were coming back into another wad right here, a little small wad. This is probably a hum and not shrimp because see how it's solid red and you don't have those little greens and yellows kind of surrounding it. Um, so don't let those kind of things fool you into thinking that there's a bunch of stuff down there on the bottom. Um, here we go, see, you've got this stuff here and see how it's kind of lifted up off the bottom just a little bit so you can tell there's some separation from the bottom structure versus what you're marking. And that's what you're looking for. Um, none of this is great. We're starting to get into some, see that's starting to look real good right there. We're gonna throw on that. That one was kicking hard. <laughs> There's a few in there. They, they're some lobsters though. Yeah, they are. All right. So here's a good example of something people might not know. You can look at this shrimp and see how his legs are clear white and this shrimp see how they're real red this shrimp's been on the move or this shrimp has been more stationary kind of holding so you see these down here most of them are red-legged 
that means they're moving around um, it's generally not the best spots to be on them you want to find them where they're kind of bunched up holding in a spot but uh we'll take those Not a bad day. We uh, we definitely got us a nice little mess of shrimp here. Uh, if I was to estimate weight, I would call that maybe 30, 30, 35 pounds, somewhere about in there. Um, but we enjoyed our day out here on the water, you guys, just out here slinging this uh, this uh, cast net. I uh, learned an absolute pile from Walt today, you guys. Um, so if you ever get a chance to get out here and uh, shrimp like this in these Georgia waters, South Carolina waters, definitely take the opportunity. It's something that you guys can bring uh, family members, friends, anyone that knows how to throw a cast net, you guys can kind of share the responsibility and share the load of uh, you throw, then I throw, then you throw. Um, but Walt, brother, thank you so much uh, for uh, bringing me out and inviting me out on this trip. Also, you guys, if you <laughs> if y'all haven't got a chance to check out Walt's YouTube channel, it's called Like to Fish. Uh, he does a lot of this stuff, a lot of other kind of uh, detailed uh, fishing that I don't do on my channel. His fishing style is a little bit different. It's full of great educational content. So if you guys are interested in, in the uh, learning aspect of fishing, you guys definitely check out Like to Fish. So that's it, you guys. We're going to get these shrimp back up to the uh, dock, start knocking these heads off, and that's it. We'll see you on the next video. Take care. God bless.